Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. So guys, in this video, we are going to focus on a very interesting switching troubleshooting ticket. And the issue for this ticket is that a uh, guy named Rahul from accounts and he's able to access old accounts server uh, 10.1.101 but not able to access new accounts server that is 10.1.1.100 so he's able to access the old server but not able to access the new server so Rahul is over here I'll just show you here so over here okay so this is the picture of Rahul okay and uh, his PC's IP is 10.1.1.5 and this is the server which he is able to access the old server but not able to access the new account server so he is not able to access this server so let me quickly jump into this PC go into desktop command prompt you can get her here and I'll just check whether he is able to access the old server Yes, he's able to ping. What about new server? So the problem is this. Uh, you can see the old, new and Rahul. All this, these three nodes, they are in the same VLAN. That is VLAN 100 you can see over here. Now, since they are in the same VLAN, they are not able to, Rahul is able to ping one of uh, the server in that VLAN and not able to ping the other VLAN, other server in that same VLAN. So let us check now since it's a new uh, server deployed. So whenever you face such kind of issue, it is always better to uh, check at the newly server end configuration. So uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll just go on the server and we'll check the configuration stuff of the server. So here you can see the IP address which is given to the server is 10.1.10. The subnet max is 255.255.0 which is okay. But here the IP address is not correct. The IP address should be 10.1.100. So we'll quickly change the IP address. We'll go quickly in this desktop IP config and we'll change the IP address. So here it, so we change the IP address. We'll again go in the command prop and check the IP address now. Okay, so it is 10.1.100. We'll keep this window open. Now I'll go in the, on the Rahul's PC. So this is the Rahul's PC. Now I'll check whether I'm able to ping it or not. So we found a mistake which was done at the server end. The IP address was configured wrongly. So we correct, we made the correction in that, but still we are not able to ping. Uh, so what can be an issue? Now you can see that uh, this particular uh, PC, that is Rahul and this old server, both of them, as the Rahul and this server, both of them are connected to the same switch. But this particular server, it belongs to the same VLAN, but it is connected to some other switch. Fine. So what we can do here is check the communication between the switches. Whether the communication between the switches is okay or not, whether this port is okay or not. Okay. That we can check. Another way of checking is that since we have access to PC3 also, uh, which belongs to VLAN 200. We can also check whether we are able to ping some other PC in VLAN 200 also. That is the other way. But it's better approach to check the connectivity between these two. Better to check the ports are up or down. So let us check that. So I'll just go into this switch. So that is the switch number one. The face which I need to check is faster than 0 slash 1. And uh, 
you can see over here that the interface fast return is 0 slash 1 and switch 1 is up. That is good. That is good. And uh, let us check on the switch 2 as well. Whether the interface fast return is 0 slash 1 is up or not. Yeah, this interface is also up. So the connectivity between them, the layer one connectivity between the both the switches is okay. Uh, but still we are not able to get communicated. Let us check on switch one, uh, whether VLANs and all these things are created or not. I'll just go on uh, switch one. And I'll just type the command show VLAN brief. You can see, yes, VLAN 100 is created over here. Uh, let's check whether VLAN 100 is created on switch 2 or not. Show VLAN brief. You can check, yes, VLAN 100 is also created over here. So on both the switches, VLAN 100 is also created. So the other thing uh, is that both the ports are up. So this this port basically, uh, this, this port and this port, that is the fast return zero slash one of both the switches. They are the trunk ports, and this link is the trunk link because trunk link is a link or trunk port or the port which carries traffic of multiple VLANs. So VLAN 100 is configured over here, VLAN 200 is configured, VLAN 300 is configured. So this particular port will belong to only VLAN 200. This is the access port. This is also an access port because it belongs to only one VLAN. And this is also an access port. But the port, this one, that is fast return 0 slash 1, it is going to carry the traffic of all these three VLANs, that is VLAN 100, 200, 300. Okay, so that ports are known as the trunk ports. And this link is known as the trunk link. So here also the same, same thing. So let us check whether these ports are configured correctly or not for the trunk. So to check it, I'll just go on the switch. Show interface trunk. So if I give this command show interface trunk, I can see the trunk port, which are all configured on that switch. So you can see this is the trunk port, which is configured. That is fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. And you can see a lot of things like mode, encapsulation. Encapsulation is dot one q which is an industry standard. Uh, the status is trunking, native VLAN is 1, so so this, this seems to be okay, the, the, the port is updated, the trunking mode is on, so that is fine. Let us check over here on the switch 2 as well, if we go on switch 2 and we should the same command that is show interface trunk. So here also you can see that uh, the mode is auto because here it is got auto negotiated here it was on the trunking was on and here it is auto so it is on um, it has got negotiated dot one q is is negotiated over here the status is uh, uh, trunking that is fine mm, and you can see uh, all the other stuff over here that is VLANs allow on the trunk is 1 to 1005 means all these VLANs are allowed. Uh, ports, VLANs allowed are active in the management room. So this all the VLANs are allowed. That is 100, 200. All the VLANs are allowed on this port. Uh, by default, if you configure any trunk port, all the VLANs will be allowed on that trunk port. By default, each and every port of a switch is an access port. If you want to make that port a trunk port, you need to configure it as a trunk port. And trunk port by default all the VLANs on the trunk ports are allowed that is it is capable of carrying all the traffic which belongs to all the VLANs so here you can see in this particular configuration is that on switch 1 is that the VLANs allowed is 200 and 300 and zoom it so the VLANs allowed on trunk is 200 and 300 and the communication which for which we are troubleshooting 
is for villain 100 villain 100 is not allowed on this trunk so let's do and check whether villain allowed is villain is not allowed you can see over here switch port trunk allowed vlan 200 300 so I'll go in the configuration mode and uh, go in the fast ethernet 0 slash 1 so under this fast ethernet port i'll allow switch port uh, switch port trunk allowed okay if i give this command it will be vlan and then this is very important uh, if I give like switch port trunk allowed VLAN and I have multiple options over here. So if I give add, it will add a VLAN in that. If I say all, it will allow all the VLANs. Accept means it will accept few VLANs. None means it will it's not going to allow any VLANs. And remove means remove the VLANs from the current list. So if I go and just configure like allowed VLANs and if I start giving the word that is the VLAN IDs, for example, most of people do mistake over here. Now switch port. Uh, trunk allowed VLAN I have to add 100 means I have to allow 200 and 300 as well as I have to add 100 now if I give like 100 over here okay it will allow 100 but if you see it will then only allow 100 200 and 300 will be removed so the best option to do is I'll again go in this one now I need to I love 200 and 300 also so the best option to do is switch port mode trunk allowed vlan and i got an option of add so i'll add 200 now if i add 200 200 is going to get added i'm going to check it you can just check it over here see now 100 and 200 are allowed now if i want 300 also i just go and add 300 300 I didn't go in the configuration mode okay now you can see hundred two hundred and three hundred are allowed if I want to remove hundred it is again very simple I just need to go here you know allowed VLAN remove hundred so if I do remove hundred so 100 is removed so what i need actually is i just need to add 100 so this is one of the troubles a lot of people do this mistake like they want to add vlan 100 they'll do like you know switch port trunk allowed vlan 100 and by doing that to solve a, a problem they'll create a lot of other problems so you guys will always have to remember this stuff now we have allowed and uh, VLAN 100. Now we'll check whether we are able to ping from PC2 or not. So let's call Rahul and tell him to ping once. So Rahul's PC. Okay, now from Rahul's PC, we'll check whether we are able to ping or not. Yes, we are able to ping. So there were two mistakes which were there in this scenario. The very first mistake was that this new server was configured wrongly with the wrong IP address. Maybe and typo error sort of thing and the second mistake was that on this particular trunk port VLAN was not allowed so we learned few things in this particular uh, video I will say three bullet points uh, that by default each and every port of a switch is an access port that is the very first point by default the access port if you want to make it as a trunk port you need to configure that trunk port and by default all VLANs are allowed on the trunk port and the last thing which we uh, which we learned is that whenever we need to add any VLAN we need to use that keyword add if you want to remove any VLAN you need to use that keyword remove so these are the two points three points which we learned in this video and also the troubleshooting stuff so guys hopefully you like this video uh, if you really want me to make such kind of videos uh, where I'm trying to focus on scenario basis learning stuff so please do uh, comment on this particular video in the comment section uh, so please do comment please share my videos uh, please do subscribe my channel Amar Text Up, which will really motivate me to make more videos and upload so I'll catch up in the next week mostly uh, till then Bye, thanks and have a nice day.